Dear brothers in Christ, around the nave at Our Savior Lutheran Church in Grand Rapids is the Te Deum polyptych, beginning on the left edge and continuing through the nave. It bears the entire text of the Te Deum Laudamus from Matins and depicts it beautifully. Several years ago, I was guiding a group of preschoolers through this polyptych. As kids do, one of the students noticed a detail that had escaped my eye. Why does that demon have a bone? That bone is here where Edward Riojas depicted the hidden spiritual warfare we Christians are in constantly. Here's the Christian in his Ephesians 6 armor. If you ask me, he looks a little wimpy, reluctant, which sure fits how it feels some days. And who's defending him? A whole army of angels, even one calling for reinforcements, all against a single demonic foe and his only weapon, a femur, a bone, the fear of death. As the author of Hebrews wrote, since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, Jesus himself partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of, the, of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. Now, we don't want to be cavalier about this virus or not wear our seatbelts, but we've seen the fear of death in some trying to pretend they're younger than they are, fearing death and every ache and pain. And we've seen those who have been set free from death's threats, living with joyful courage. Brothers, right now, when many are starting to panic about whether or not they will be one of the victims of this infection, we get to enact this deliverance from the fear of death by the joyful proclamation of Jesus, the resurrection and the life. What an amazing gift our Jesus has won for us and for all, freedom from the fear of death. This deliverance from the fear of death is why Luther did not flee the plague, but serve those who were ill and dying while implementing all the precautions known by the physicians of his day. The deliverance from death's mocking is why we call death by its name, mourn with those who grieve the death of loved ones, console those who are dying, and when Satan raps on our window with a bone, we can rest in the Jesus, who even now is at the Father's right hand in glory, sharing our flesh and blood. Now, with the full antidote to death itself, I am the resurrection and the life. Remember what St. Paul taught, and Hal and Dr. Kleinig drove home in our discussion of spiritual warfare during the doxology gathering. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the armor of God, the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the devil in this evil day and having done all to stand firm. Our fight isn't against death or other humans even against those who call themselves our enemies. Our fight is against the evil one. And Christ Jesus remains the victor over Satan and his minions, over sin, and over the dry bone of death. Stand firm in that victory that enwraps you in his armor. You are his, and he is yours, and there is nothing in all creation that can ever separate you from his love. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his peace and joy.